Let's go to Baton Rouge. Let's go to the red stick. Alabama at LSU. Alabama is a two and a half point favorite. This is not like, I don't feel like this is a case of, I don't know which team's going to show up. I actually don't know what Alabama and LSU are. I think that's my biggest problem here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I picked Alabama in my bracket and you did too, right? Yes. I don't feel comfortable with that. Like nope. That's just that, not that, at least that's doing it based on the spread of the game. But you know, LSU really disappointed me in the AM game. Like I cannot get the way that they played in the second half of that game out of my head. Um that said, Alabama very much disappointed me <laughs> in the Tennessee game. Like, I don't know that either of these teams the first thing I think about is awesomeness when I think about them. I think about a team that has talent, a, a, a team that, you know, has the ability if everything clicks to play high level football against very good opponents. But I also don't feel confident that either of them will do it. Like Alabama went on the road to Tennessee and they played a terrible game. Like, why is this any different? This is going to be another environment like that. This one's going to be at night. The one at Tennessee wasn't even at night. Well, but Ryan Kelly, thing. you know, pounds his fist against the table and saying, we have games that we were going to put away and that we just can't put it away. And that scares the shit out of me. Well, here's, here's the other thing. Jalen Miller is a hell of a lot better version of Marcel Reed. Yeah. A lot, better. but, but a week earlier when LSU knew they were playing Taylor green, who is a really good mobile quarterback with a good arm. They shut him down. And Garrett Nussmeyer, you would say, is better than Nico right now, right? Like at this moment? Yes. So I don't know if... Can, uh, LSU, can LSU run on Bama, I think is a question. We saw Bandy run on Bama. This is the game that the video is titled after, right? Like this is a playoff game. Elimination. You want a playoff yeah. game? The, the in loser's winter, out. This is a playoff game. The loser is out. So, and the and the winner is frankly in at the moment. So, this is very difficult for me, Andy. I want you to go first. You're the you live closer to these teams. I I don't have a lot of confidence in this pick. I'm taking Alabama, and I'm taking Alabama. To, I'm not even the money line. It's a it's a cover. It's a it's a two and a half point spread. I'm taking Alabama to cover. I'm just guessing here. I, I, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I am guessing because I do not know what these teams are. Like the LSU team that lost to Texas A&M will lose to Alabama. This show is brought to you by Panini America, makers of the most collectible sports cards on the planet. The Luminance Football Card Series features NIL autograph cards from players including Arch Manning, Quinn Ewers, Cam Ward, Jalen Milrow, Dylan Raiola, DJ Lagway and Luther Burden to start collecting. Visit PaniniAmerica.net and Ari. I got a pack of luminance right here. We're gonna open it. Uh, the last one we opened had a Cooper Cup autograph. We've gotten a uh, we've gotten a, a Ronde Gadsden the second future autograph. Out of we the, also out of these got packs. A, a Joe Milton. Don't forget the Joe Milton card. That's right for Producer River. Okay, so we got a Kyler Murray. He played at Texas A&M in Oklahoma. DeAndre Swift played at Georgia. But the Alabama team that we saw it at Tennessee is probably not going to win at night in Tiger Stadium. So, so do we get the yeah. Alabama team that played Georgia? Like, is that team ever going to come back? Maybe. Yeah, the Alabama offense is a step further along than the Texas A&M offense, right? Um Although I think you might make a case that AM has better running backs. That said, LSU had to defend the Texas AM offense and they were caught off guard by it for some reason, but they were caught off guard by it. Like they have been preparing for Milro. So yeah, they won't be caught off guard well here. for them. I just think that Alabama, it's just. Maybe it's just muscle memory, but my gut has said that Alabama is going to win this game from the beginning, and I'm not going to veer off of it now. But again, like you, kind of guessing. 
Let's give Steve from San Antonio some advice. He's going to the game on Saturday. He says, what do we need to do pregame? Well, you need to go all, just walk all around Tiger Stadium because the LSU fans are some of those friendly in the country unless you are the opposing fan base. Uh, but even if you are the opposing fan base, they're probably still going to hand you a daiquiri because they do love a good party. Uh, go to the Indian Mounds. You can look up a map of LSU's campus to see where that is. Go visit my guy, Zach Rao at DVA Tailgating, and he'll show you what a real tailgate should look like. He, he's one of the best tailgaters in the country. And so you can check that one out. And then next door to them, are all these LSU law school grads that throw maybe the best party of any tailgate you will ever see. They should. This is a big game, so they'll have the stripper pole and the ice luge out. Like, If you actually want to see what tailgating is, those two tailgates that, that are right next door to each other are the best representation of tailgating in American sports. LSU has the best tailgating in football. I would argue the best tailgating of any team in the country, in any sport. And I realize Kansas City Chiefs fans are like, what about us? You don't even come close. You're, you're not even in the same universe. Ole Miss fans, what about us? We put chandeliers on our tents. Not even in the same year. Nobody comes close to LSU. This is the best tailgating scene in the world. Please go enjoy it. I need to see it one day. Maybe we're, we can make that happen. Please. We can make that happen. Yeah. That's my bucket list right now. Like in terms, of, I've been to just about every iconic stadium in the country now. Never been to Tiger Stadium for a night game. It's it's spectacular, absolutely spectacular. And and look, even if you decide not to go into the stadium for the game, it's spectacular. That's how good the party is. Yeah, yeah. Got to I got to make that happen.